things that I recommend is you take lots of practice games. Get as many practice games in as you can. Use the computer, use chess.com, Lee Chess, whatever you use, and play games against the computer, against people. Just keep playing chess and take note of what you do and what you need to do different. One of the things I do, or I hope to do, is uh, use uh, SWAT techniques, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Another thing I do is I like to calculate uh, what my move is going to entail. What's it going to be like before and after, and what, and uh, how how far can I follow the uh, the moves? And it takes a while. It takes time. You don't always have time if you're playing speed chess, but you can still take some ad, uh, some advantageous moves. So I've almost got everything set up. I recommend you get everything set up and uh, get everything off the back row uh, if you can, or if you see uh, something you can do. Uh, this is a weakness this night. If he moves this pawn up, this is a great weakness. So I'm going to go ahead and get this. If I put it here, he'll take it. So I'm going to put him in check and see what he does. He should put his knight there. And I'll probably take his knight because I love to get this pawn row open and make use of it. It's awesome. I'm going to castle and get that out of the way because now I'm going to be advancing on this side. This is a weakness. This pawn is... I would have to put my knight right there to take it, so I don't see a decent, easy way to do that, you know, like three moves or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and um, he's threatening to take my knight. That's fine. And he does. I'll take with the queen. I don't want to mess up my pawns. So he's going here for this knight. I don't have a way to capture his queen. So I'm going to go ahead and go here and... Well, I kind of see a little thing I can do here. I'm gonna move. Uh, I'm gonna move my uh, rearrange my king and my rook here. But well, no, I can't do what I was gonna. Maybe I can. I don't know. So uh, will that work? So I'm, I'm calculating if I can take this pawn with a pawn and then threaten his queen. And now he's <laughs> he is uh, uh, going after this pawn. So he's you know he's doing some good things. He's uh, being active with his. Um, with this queen. So I'm going to look at that. So he is uh, thinking that I would do something a little different. And now he is threatening my... Uh, I don't really have a decent way to do this. I'd like to get rid of this. Um, so I'm going to advance these pawns. We're going to go up the middle and see what kind of... Uh, trouble we can cause. If I take here, we have a pawn exchange. I could take here and have a pawn exchange. I think I'd rather take my pawn exchange here because I would like to... I would like to take that pawn. And that pawn is double protected. So see what he does here. I could have taken with my knight, then he would have taken with his bishop. And that's fine. So I have a, a bunch of things going on here. He only has one uh, piece on that now. I probably could go and take this um, pawn and put him in check at the same time. I'm going to take that. I don't want to have it threatening my, my bishop. Okay, so he has a bunch of things going on. He doesn't have an easy way to get... Oh, look at that. He did. Well, however, we can do... Imp oh, that wasn't a good move. That was not because now he has his bishop on that. I'm going to take that back. That was a miscalculation. Okay, so I'm going to go here and put him in check. And then I'm likely to get his queen. Uh, because if I take this pawn up and put him in check, that means my queen is threatening his queen, and I will be able to take his queen for free. Won't even have to trade. Well, I'll have to trade my, my rook for it. There we go. That's all he could do. All right, so that gives me a, a somewhat of an advantage here all of a sudden. I like that a lot. So uh, I can um, I can do a few things. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm real big on trading once you get to this point. So I'm going to put my knight here. He can't take it with his rook. And then I'm going to... Oh, he's, he's doing things here. So I'm going to... I'm going to um, I use my knight to um, fork 
his rook and his king and he'll take it with his bishop that's fine i did see that earlier so i don't know how well of, of calculation that i did and now he's going to go here and that leaves him a, a way to take my rook i have to move my rook which means he gets a free pawn so what can i do if that in that in that case i can put him in check and maybe get something here. I don't know. I can. Well, no, I can't. Well, we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm going to go here. He's going to take my pawn because I didn't do my calculation very well. So now I can I can put him in check here. I can put him in check over here and check here and check here. So I can put him in check quite a few ways. I don't see anything that I can do uh, really exciting. I can take his pawn here, and then um, I could uh, put him in check. He took that pawn. So there we go. He is definitely um, on the move. So what can I do? Um, well, I can fork his uh, rooks, because look at that. His rooks are on the same diagonal. Always be on the lookout for that. Well, he got his rook. Uh, he, he did good. He, he protected it. So I can go ahead and take this here. And he won't take that pawn because I would take his rook. Oh, look at that. Very smart on his part. He is threatening my, uh, my queen. And it's uh, protected. So, um, so I am going to... I'm going to... I'll move over here and put him in check and protect my uh, bishop at the same time. And then I'm going to... I don't know, see, we'll see what I can do. And his rooks are on um, white, so my black bishop can't do anything. I'm going to get my king up here. So that uh, I'm a little better protected, but I am. It is a bit of a danger. Now he's going to do this, and so we are uh, once again kind of in trouble here. So I can put him in check here, and that gets would take get my queen taken. I can put him in check here. I can go here and put him in check, which would get my queen taken. So that would do it. So I'm going to go ahead and go here, and I'm going to have to uh, take his. Uh, his pawn, so he's threatening my uh, my bishop, and rightly so. So I'll go here and uh, threaten his rook, and maybe I'll get his bishop. I do. Well, he will be, we'll be trading bishops. I don't think I want to trade bishops. I would rather uh, put him in check again, and I would rather take his bishop. Oh, lost my queen. I'm not I'm gonna take that back. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> that would have been the end of the game there. So if I go here I can put him in check and threaten his rook at the same time. Well, I think so. And so that there we go. That does that. And then his rook is protected by his uh All right, let's just do that. That way I protect my bishop and All right, let's uh let's trade rooks. He'll have to trade his rook here. <laughs> I am no better than um than than whatever. That was terrible. Okay, so I'm going to take his rook. And then I will be able to get his bishop. There we go. I'll be able to get his bishop. Because he can't put his rook here. Or I'll take it with my bishop. Although, we can do that. So if I... There is nothing... Oh, I can go over here. That's what I'll do. Then I'll be able to get his bishop. No, I can't get his bishop. He moved out of the way. That is so good. We could have traded bishops. And it would have been my queen against his... Uh, 
All right, we'll just do this. So for a practice game, it's really frustrating. So I am going to um, put my put my queen here, and then I'm going to. What else can I do? I can put him in check here or there. Can't do it there. Put him in check here. They can't do it there. So I can just really, I can really go over here and uh, threaten his rook, which really leaves him a little bit of uh, extra space here. So what can I do? Can I put him in check and take his rook? Really can't that I see. So we'll move up one more and get out of the line of fire of his white bishop. And then we will advance this pawn. He'll have to trade his rook or his bishop for the white pawn. This is extending the game. <laughs> oh, man. So we'll see what he's going to do. He's got everything he can get on uh, on white. I mean, yeah, on white because I have a black bishop. That's a very smart move on his part. Then now he's going to go down here. And uh, I'm going to put this here so he can't move there. Um not when one move and it's protect well now he can so i need to uh i need to be able to put him in check and protect my stuff because he's going to put his he's going to put his uh rook down here and take my pawn and i might actually end up being in a lot of trouble here i'm not sure so uh, I don't like this situation at all. So what can I do? I could go up here and um, I could move. What can I do? Can't do that. Discover check isn't going to do anything. That's no good. That's no good. So I don't have a decent way to put him in check right now. So um, I don't like what I've got to do here. So I'm going to move this here. And I'm going to move this up and keep moving this up. So he's going to take with that. That's fine. So I can put this here and give me a little added protection, I think. So move this up and we'll take his... Uh, we'll take his... <coughs> This white bishop, you'll have to trade it for the pawn. That's fine. Oh, look at that. Okay, so that's... Uh, oh, so he's going to trade his, his rook for it. Wow, what a game. We're going to have very few pieces left. All right, so now I have to go back and take that pawn and move. So this is a laborious game. Play these kinds of game. Flame to the bitter end. Oh, my goodness. It's uh, quite a game. So uh, it's good to play these games. I'm going to go ahead and go up here because I don't like him uh, possibly getting into a stalemate situation. I don't really think that would happen. I could take my bishop up here and probably put him in you know, and uh, checkmate there, but I, it runs the risk of a uh, stalemate. I just don't like to run that risk. So I come up here like this, and then I wind up uh, finally, after I don't know how many moves, checkmate. But good grief, that was a challenge. <laughs> All right, that was quite a deal, and that was level four. So that was a warm-up game, and I think I need two or three more warm-up games before I'm ready to do something different. So if you're still watching right now, I just want to tell you how much I appreciate your support. It's been very encouraging and incredible, and uh, I am just amazed at that. So I would ask if you're still here that consider hitting the subscribe button and sm smacking that like button and sending me a comment. I've loved all your comments. If you want to comment positive or negative, whatever you'd like to do, I would love to hear from you. Have a wonderful day, and I'll check you later.